Hi. Uh, in the last session, actually, I had discussed about uh, duty and delta. Uh, in this session, I am going to talk on computing the design capacity of an irrigation canal. So, basically, how can we uh, find out the design capacity of an irrigation canal? Uh, that I will discuss in this particular session. Uh, we will solve uh, numericals of the problems, uh, but before that, we should know the basic concepts uh, that we will discuss before. <clears throat> so, uh, basically, uh, there are the uh, basic concepts which starts from the gross command area. So, what is mean by gross command area? So, here you can see, uh, actually, this is the main canal. Uh, these are the rivers. So this is a river. So from this river, uh, we can take out the water through canal. So this is a main canal and this is a branch. This is a distributive. So the branches and the uh, distributaries and this is called as miners. So these miners have been um, uh, shown in this particular figure. Uh, so uh, why to uh, use this term or what is the application or the purpose of this gross command area in many other terms is basically by using this uh, we can have the idea that what can be the capacity of canal so it helps us basically in deciding the capacity of the canal so what is mean by gross command area so it includes the cultivable as well as uncu uncultivable area what is mean by cultivable area so the area which can be cultivable for example pastures and fallow land, fallow land whereas uncultivable area includes ponds residential areas roads reserve forest uh, the next term is culturable or cultivable command area so it is the uh, area from the gross command so culturable area is the cultivable part of the gross command area and includes all land of gro gross command area on which cultivation is possible so uh, it is not necessary that uh, there is uh, something grown presently so whether the cultivation is possible it may not be cultiva cultivated right now but cultivation is possible so some part of the land might be cultivated and some part of the land might be without cultivation but where cultivation is possible so that entire area is called as cultivable command area or, or culturable command area and the example is pastures and fallow land so that's why this fallow land is an example of CCA so basically this CCA is divided into two parts cultivable cultivated portion of culturable command area and cultivable but not cultivated so it can be cultivable but right now it is not culti cultivated so uh, when we need to find out the cca and if we don't have the sufficient data uh, in that case we uh, consider cca equal to uh, 80 percent of gca that is gross command area the next term is intensity of irrigation so what is meant by intensity of irrigation for seasonal and annual uh, basically small uh, percentage of cca that is culturable command area proposed to be irrigated in a given season is called the intensity of the irrigation of that season or seasonal intensity of irrigation so what is this intensity of irrigation is basically uh, suppose if we take an example of bhakra canal system so in this bhakra canal system it is 27.6% for Kharif season and 34.4% for Rabi season. Uh, in this particular definition, this intensity of irrigation we can discuss in more detail. Uh, that a small percentage of culturable command area. Basically, if you wish to irrigate that small percentage of the culturable command area for a particular season, for a particular season is generally called as intensity of irrigation of that particular season or if we are talking in terms of uh, like for yearly then it can be the <clears throat> sum of rabi and kharif intensity of irrigation so if we just sum this up if you just add this 27.6 percent to this 34.4 percent we'll get the annual irrigation intensity the next term is net and gross zone areas 
actually all these terms are very important because uh, these terms will help us in computing the capacity design capacity of uh, any canal uh, so net and gross zone area is basically the gross cropped or gross zone area during a year uh, is equal to net cropped area that is the area sown once in a year um, basically uh, there may be the area which can be sown twice in a year there may be the area which can be sown thrice in a year and uh, the, here actually it is mentioned that the area which is uh, just a I minute mean, the cursor is moving so the net cropped area it means that the area which is sown once in a year only plus area sown more than once during the year it may be twice or thrice okay so this is called as gross cropped or gross sown area there are the uh, five more additional terms uh, area to be irrigated time factor capacity factor full supply coefficient nominal duty if we understand all these terms uh, clearly then uh, we will be able to solve complex problems based on these concepts so area to be irrigated so from this um, word only we can understand so uh, the area which should be irrigated so area to be irrigated seasonally or annually is cca that is culturable command area multiplied by seasonal or annual intensity of irrigation and what is intensity of irrigation we just discussed then the next term is time factor so what is time factor the ratio of actual operating period of distributary we know the distributary so actual operating period period of distributary to the crop period we also know the crop period which we have discussed in the last video is called the time factor of the distributary so uh, what is the physical meaning of this time factor suppose uh, suppose uh, any canal any distributary suppose if it runs for a period of 100 days and the crop period is 125 days then we can say 100 divided by 125 is the time factor what is mean by capacity factor the capacity factor is a ratio of the mean supply discharge in a canal during a period so mean discharge can be suppose uh, 2 cubic to its designed full dis full capacity so what is the design full capacity suppose it is designed for 4 cubic then 2 by 4 can be the capacity factor the next term is full supply coefficient so it is the design duty at the head of the canal uh, basically it is number of the hectares irrigable per cubic of the canal capacity at its head okay so uh, the number of hectares irrigable it means that the number of hectares land irrigable per cubic so per cubic cubic is the discharge of that canal cup of that canal at its head so this is called as full supply coefficient the next term is nominal duty so what is the unit of the duty that we have discussed last time from that only we can um, this uh, can have a judgment that what can be a definition so it is the ratio of area actually irrigated by the cultivators to the mean supply discharge it means that area actually irrigated by the cultivators so how much is the area that uh, that is irrigated uh, it we can calculate or measure in terms of hectare to uh, the mean supply discharge that is in cubic so we'll get the nominal duty now all these terms are clear to you now uh, you will be able to solve the problem so based on the gross command area culturable command area intensity of irrigation if you observe this problem all these terms are used what we have discussed just before so now it is very easy for you to solve uh, this pop this particular problem so we'll <clears throat> we'll find out the solution for this particular problem so we'll read it loudly the gross commanded area for a distributary is 6000 hectares so we know the gca which is given 60000 hectare 6000 hectares 
80 percent of which is culturable irrigable it means that 80 percent of gca is cca the intensity of irrigation for Rabi is 50 percent and for kharib it is 25 percent if the average duty at the head of the distributary is 2000 hectares per cubic for Rabi season and 900 hectare per cubic for kharib season find out the discharge required at the head of the distributary from average demand considerations so what is given the gca is given we can find out the cca so so cca is 80 percent of gca so now we got the cca which is 4800 hectares okay so the next term is the next uh, step is area to be irrigated in rabi season so area to be irrigated in rabi season how can we find out uh, now we have calculated cca which is 4800 multiplied by the intensity of irrigation for rabi season it is given so how much is for the rabi season it is 50 percent it is given here so just multiply it by 50 percent will get 2400 hectares so this is 2400 is the uh, area to be irrigated in rabi season in the same way we can find out the for the kharif season so how for the kharif season it is given 25 percent okay so just multiply by 25 percent to the cca will get this area to be irrigated for kharif season and it is 1200 hectares so now water required at the head of the distributary to irrigate the rabi area only so how much is the rabi area 2400 hectares and why it is divided by 2000 because 2000 hectare per cubic is the duty given so a duty at the head of the distributary is 2000 hectare so if you divide it by 2000 hectare per cubic we will get the discharge or water required at the head of the distributary which is 1.2 cubic but it is for rabi in the same way we can find out for the kharib and final answer for the kharib is 1.33 here only we have considered the area to be irrigated in Kharib which is which we have got 1200 hectare divided by 900 is the uh, hectare per cubic that is duty at the head of the distributary and that too for the Kharib season. So for the Kharib season it is 900 that's why we have taken 900 and finally we got 1.33 cubic. So this is the discharge or water required at the head of the distributary so this is the uh, so the, we have got two answer 1.2 for rabi and 1.33 for kharib so basically we should take the maximum uh, discharge in order to decide the capacity of the canal so that's why we need to consider 1.33 but in case of when the rabi season is there then then we can supply with the capacity of 1.2 cubic only but the final answer is 1.33 cubic. So here actually uh, from this you must have understood how can we find out uh, how, how can you decide or design the capacity of the irrigation canal. Uh, there is another example but here in this example the same data you can use determine the discharge required at the head of the distributary in the previous example for fulfilling the maximum crop requirement. Assume suitable values of KOR depth and KOR period. Actually, uh, uh, there is one uh, you are supposed to search what is KOR depth and KOR period and solve this particular problem by using data of previous example or the problem. Uh, if you can't solve or if at all you are facing any kind of difficulty, uh, I am going to prepare the next video in which I will give the solution for this particular problem. But you try by yourself so that you will be able to recall the terms which we have discussed just before. Uh, thank you. Best of luck.